Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a little grocery haul for you guys. So I went to Whole Foods and I went to Costco today. I'm gonna start by showing you guys the things that I got from Whole Foods and then I'll talk about how much I spent and stuff at the end. So first of all, starting with the proteins, I got a pack of sausage. So I usually like to get um, chicken sausage, but at Whole Foods they're super expensive. They're like six to seven dollars for chicken sausage. And this one was on sale for four dollars. It's, it's just pork. And the ingredients are really good. Pork, water, vinegar, salt, spices, and paprika. So pick those up. I've actually had those before, but the spicy ones and they're really good. So I'm gonna try out the mild. I also got some ground beef. I'm gonna make some tacos tonight for dinner. And I always like to get the 100% grass-fed and finished ground beef. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's supposed to be like better for you. So I try to get that. Next, I got some English muffins. I like to just have these in the freezer just in case I ever want them. Usually I eat toast with my um, eggs in the morning, but sometimes I want English muffins, so it's nice to have them. And my favorite are these Food for Life flourless sprouted whole grain English muffins. Yeah, they have really good ingredients and they're pretty good. And next I got some hummus. This is the Ithaca brand, I think that's how you say it. I've never actually had this, but it was on sale today, so I thought I would pick it up and try it out. It also has a really good ingredients, just chickpeas, water, tahini, lemon juice, sunflower oil, garlic, vinegar, dried dill, and crushed red pepper. I'm gonna try that with some chips and carrots. And then next I got a whole bunch of produce. I always like to have kale for my salads. I'm also making another recipe this week that has kale, so I'll probably use that bag up. And then I also got some broccoli. It's probably like my favorite vegetable. It's so easy to make and goes with a lot of things, so. Then I also got a singular tomato. I'm gonna make some salsa tonight for my tacos. Got two bell peppers, one red and one orange. I have one dinner this week that has bell peppers in it. I also got some celery. I always like to have celery in my tuna salad, which I make like almost every day for lunch. Also just got three apples. These are my favorite apples. I don't know if it's cause they're yellow and it's like different, but they're really good. Also just got some cherries. I don't know, I saw them and I was like, hmm, I haven't had cherries in a while, so. Pick those up. I got some cheese. I'm gonna make some grilled cheese and soup this week. For drinks, I just got a couple different kinds of tea. So I saw these sparkling hop teas and I thought I would try them out. Never had them before. It's just carbonated water and green tea. We'll test that out. And then I also got another one that I already cracked open. This one is citrus flavor. It's not the best, honestly. It kind of tastes like beer and I don't like beer, so. And then I got two more teas. This one is lime hibiscus. And this one is the pineapple passion fruit. And they both have really good ingredients. Whenever I'm shopping for things, I always just read the ingredient label and look to see if I can pronounce most of the ingredients. And if I know what they are, then that's usually a good sign. The last thing I got from Whole Foods is sriracha. This is the Yellow Bird brand. They have really good um, condiments that have good ingredients. So this one just has jalapenos, vinegar, dates, garlic, raisins, salt, tangerine juice, concentrate, and lime juice. That is everything I got at Whole Foods. I didn't get too much today, but I spent exactly $82. So not bad for Whole Foods because that place is really expensive. But one thing I do do at Whole Foods is I always look for discounts because for Amazon Prime members, they have like some items that are discounted compared to others. I always try to look for items that are on sale because that's how you save a lot of money at Whole Foods. Also at Whole Foods, I forgot to mention, I got lunch there too, and that was included in the $88. So I just went to the um, hot bar. It was my first time trying it. It was really freaking good. I'm definitely gonna go back. 
I literally got like a bunch of different veggies and like different kinds of meat. So I got butternut squash, broccoli, green beans. The butternut squash was so good. I love butternut squash and it's so hard to make. So buying it prepared is really good. With the meal, I got some baby potatoes. Oh, I also got a little vegan meatball. It was pretty good. It didn't really taste like meat. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but I feel like I mostly tasted the teriyaki sauce that was on it. And then I also got some teriyaki pork and that was freaking bomb. I don't know. I love pork, honestly. That's like one of my favorite meats. Only like shredded pork though. Like I don't like pork chops. Now moving on to the Costco haul. So I love getting things at Costco that are usually pretty pricey because Whole Foods is expensive. So I like to buy them in bulk and then that saves me a lot of money when I'm shopping. One of the main things I get at Costco is tuna. I like to get the wild caught tuna and at Whole Foods, they're literally like $5 a can. I kid you not, like that is ridiculous. And at Costco, I only paid $17 for five of them. So it's definitely a lot cheaper. And then I also got this Rouse marinara sauce. This is like my favorite pasta sauce ever. It is so good. And that's also kind of expensive too, so I like to get that at Costco. And then I also get butter at Costco. It's upside down. This is my favorite butter. It is grass-fed, I think. Yeah made from grass-fed cows. Milk from grass-fed cows, not made from. Anyways. And then I also like to get macadamia nuts at Costco. These are so freaking expensive, it's ridiculous. Like, even at Costco, this is $17 for this bag. But I mean, they last me kind of a while and they're such a bomb snack. And I like to make these like macadamia date balls with them. They're so good. I'll have to share the recipe on here because it is absolutely fire. And then these are my freaking favorite crackers ever. Mary's Gone Crackers. These are also really expensive, but at Costco, they are way cheaper. Like at Whole Foods, they had a box that was like that size for the exact same price as this. This was $7 for this big ass box. They're actually on sale today, so I got two of them so good and I eat them with my tuna salad. I also like to get avocados at Costco. I'm not gonna lie, this is like the main reason I went to Costco, to get avocados because at Whole Foods it's like $5 a freaking avocado and I'm not about to spend that money. It was $5 for five at Costco and they're always like really good and really big. So I like to get them at Costco. So usually when I buy avocados, they're like super hard and green. So I like to just leave them in my pantry for like four or five days and then they'll get like a little bit soft and they're like perfect to eat that way. So that's a little avocado hack. The last thing I got at Costco is some oranges. No one needs this many oranges. But again, this was only $5 for so this whole bag of oranges. And oranges usually last a long time so I'll eventually eat all of these but I love oranges and they're in season right now. Actually, oranges are always in season. Fun fact. Okay, I lied. One final thing that I got. Vital proteins, collagen peptides. This is the only protein powder that I actually use because all the other proteins have like a bunch of added shit in them and they usually taste just like so sweet and fake to me, I don't know. This one literally doesn't taste like anything and I always just add it to my overnight oats and my chia seed pudding. And also it has, I mean, it's literally collagen, so it helps your hair and nails grow. And I really find that it makes a difference. Like if I don't take this every day, my nails are, they get really short. Like right now, I haven't been using it as much. So I bought a new one. It was on sale today too. So I figured I'd get that. The total for Costco was $112.90 which I feel like is not bad. This will actually last me a pretty long time, especially um, the Costco stuff because it's all in bulk. But yeah, that's all for this haul. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next down in the comments. And if you would like to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, bye guys. See you later.